The co in co-digestion refers to mixing organic wastes with the waste water and using bacteria to digest them together. It's a cutting edge approach to extracting value from materials traditionally thought of as waste. This is a leading edge technology in Canada. We are not aware of any other municipalities doing the co-digestion with, with the sludge. The co-digester takes liquid waste such as restaurant grease, aircraft de-icing fluid and sour milk and adds it to the digester tanks where anaerobic treatment of wastewater takes place. The resulting mixture creates a methane-rich biogas, which is burned to create electricity. We provide environmental-friendly disposal method to those organic wastes, and therefore we minimize the cost impact of illegal dumping into our sewer system. It generates lots of energy-rich biogas and we can maximize our energy recovery at the plant and reduce carbon footprint. Using the biogas to generate energy converts methane gas, which is a major greenhouse gas, into the less harmful carbon dioxide. It also saves Metro Vancouver a significant amount of money. So now we can avoid the illegal dumping of those uh, organic waste into our sewer system. That item itself can bring us a saving of approximately $2 million a year because once those materials are dumped into the sewer system, it will plug our sewer system. We need to spend a lot of effort and money to clean the sewer system. So this item itself is already a $2 million saving for Metro Vancouver. By converting the biogas into energy, we can reduce the electricity consumption at the plant. One of the great advantages of the new installation of co-digestion plant here is we're able to increase our methane production in our digesters and we're able to produce up to 50% of our electricity for this plant. By processing these organic wastes, Metro Vancouver is generating revenue through tipping fees and reducing the greenhouse gases that would have resulted from the material going to landfill. 55 degrees Celsius. Darl to CDAX, we are hooked up. The process is fully automated and operators can control exactly where in the system the material is sent, either to a single digester or distributed over many. Test operation of the co-digester is continuing as Metro Vancouver prepares to bring the facility up to its full capacity. At that time, the system will have a capacity of roughly 50 cubic meters per day, or roughly four truckloads daily potentially reducing 1,500 tons of carbon dioxide emissions and generating $490,000 worth of biogas every year 